Though there is a saying, fine feathers make fine birds, in the case of Rosé, things seem to be in total contrast. Wandering through the internet, you can easily find pictures of extremely expensive dresses from renowned brands worn by supermodels. But it makes you wonder why those dresses are so ugly until YG bought them and gave them to Rosé. Of all the preferences the stylists have for Rosé, one that can be named is the latest gray wide leg jumpsuit of Moschino. While the original version has a massive waistband, along with two strange looking gloves, it gives off a totally different vibe to that of Rosé. To balance out the sophisticated detail, instead of going for a wide belt, Rosé put on a skinny black belt and got rid of the bulky gloves. Plus, she was wearing a soft makeup look and a natural bright hairstyle. She brought an elegant and classy look to the outfit instead of the bold vibe like the model. A special touch was added to the jumpsuit. The creases were altered to lie on top of another, creating another highlight for the simple look. Overall, while the original jumpsuit looks pretty flat and stiff, thanks to the alternation of Rosé's stylists, the new one looks way more flattering and feminine. Another time Rosé turned a formal and somewhat old-fashioned design into something completely fresh and bold is when she wore a woolen long dress from Self Portrait sold at $280. Though the original styling looked indeed graceful and classy, it could make the wearer look 10 years older when combining the dress with a low bun hairstyle and a loafer. Being well aware of this characteristic, Rosé made a wide choice and turned the dress into a long cardigan, undoing all the buttons except for two of them to show off her tiny waist. Plus, she also mixed it with a half-tied hairstyle, a bright makeup look, a pair of relaxed fit jeans, and white sneakers to rejuvenate the look. Of course, you could hardly wear a buttoned-up formal dress to a concert, but thanks to the creative styling of Rosé, you can now totally do it. Since the next design appeared with Rosé on a famous television show, it's obvious that she must have received some help from the stylist to kill the look. To dress down the dress a little bit, the split on the bottom part was extended. Though this alternation might make it look a bit less classy, it greatly complemented Rosé's beautiful pair of legs. As her upper body doesn't have a lot of curves, the stylist added a wide belt to attract attention to her waist. Also, to not overwhelm everyone with such a look, rather than opting for the original sophisticated shoes, a simple pair of black heels were chosen, which ended up letting the dress alone take all the spotlights. Overall, while the dress looks quite normal on the model, when it came to Rosé, a new breeze was blown into the design, unlocking many other hidden aspects that not many people had noticed. Also, with this design from Long & Lu, it's not hard to see that the stylist had made great alterations so that Rosé would slay the look harder. While the proportion of the original design looked kind of off, by cutting the lower part from the waist to the hip and wearing the top off the shoulders, Rosé had literally turned the awkward design into a flattering and one-of-a-kind dress. Thanks to this design, combining her angelic voice, the fan cam of Rosé singing Someone You Love gives off an unreal fairy-like scene and later made it onto the list of top idols with the most viewed fan cam, with 14 million views. Also, from this look, it can be seen that Rosé totally owned that blonde hair color, since she looked just like a fairy princess stepping out of a Disney movie. Seeing the super-duper excitement from fans when she put on that dreamy dress, Rosé decided to wear a similar design from Dewey Dewey's 2020 Spring Summer Collection for her next stage. To pull in the same dreamy and romantic vibe from the old performance, Instead of mixing the top with a bulky pair of jeans and combat boots like the model, she turned to simple black shorts and performed barefoot. Also, she had the sleeves cut short to further highlight the breezy and elegant aura. While the two stylings obviously possessed different vibes and thus shined in their own way, that of Rosé still received more positive reactions for mainly two reasons. First, the dress well resonated with other parts instead of sharing the spotlight to each separate item. And second, Rosé's soft and elegant personality was also well portrayed through the dress. Though Rosé has had tons of stunning looks before, still, there is barely any design that showcases the colors of Rosé so well as this particular one. Blackpink's concert seemed to be the best fashion era of Rosé, when all the picky and somewhat bulky designs she put on turned into flattering and one-of-a-kind looks. Take this light tortoiseshell color dress from Alexander McQueen 2019 Spring Summer Collection, for example. While the original design looked as if you would sweat buckets when having it on for long, thanks to the alternation of Rosé's stylist, this design has turned into a design full of tropical and summer spirit. By adding a split from the ankle to the thigh and wearing it off shoulder, Rosé has made the design 10 times more elegant. Besides, since she wasn't so greedy with accessories, which could eventually deviate everyone's attention in multiple directions, the whole spotlight was taken by the sophisticated dress of Alexander McQueen. Similar to the previous case, while the two impressed people in different ways, the way Rosé gave out a graceful and summery vibe still seems to be loved more by the public compared to the boho chic style of the runway model. Put another way, while you can wear the dress in Rosé style when happily playing on a beautiful beach in Hawaii, you would instead see yourself at a more formal event when opting for the original styling of Alexander McQueen. In the latest concert of Blackpink, the show, 
fans were also left in awe when seeing Rosé slayed another quirky design. Different from most items previously mentioned, the whole look here was literally tailor-made by her stylists. Looking at those puffy details, the sleeves, the so-called baggy socks but without the feet part, and the skirt, lots of people have questioned how on earth Rosé could pull off this whole weird bulky set. While the design could easily turn some into the snow monster from Monsters, Inc., with Rosé, the first and only impression running through people's minds started with only one word. Wow. Besides the plus points coming from her figure and complexion, what really helped Rosé stand out was the impeccable aura. Since she knew she's that girl who would look good in whatever clothes thrown at her, the weird and unfavorable design ended up being a one-of-a-kind look thanks to her confidence. Turning back the clock to two years ago, the incredible girl once again proved her unmatched aura when turning a cheap design into something chic and expensive. In this press conference held in Thailand, while Jisoo, Jenny, and Lisa all have on a graceful blouse mixed with a simple above-the-knee black skirt, Rosé was given an off-pink dress. According to netizens, though the silhouette of the dress looked pretty cheesy and that shade of pink also gave out the impression that the dress had been worn for ages, thanks to the slender figure and the white porcelain complexion of Rosé, things surprisingly fell into place. Netizens also found out that they were correct in guessing about the cost, because this dress could be bought online at a relatively cheap price, only 47,500 won. Still, when Rosé put it on, she still gave off the same rich and fabulous vibe of a Che Bull's daughter. So do you agree with us that Rosé is the liveliest example proving the saying fine birds make fine feathers was wrong? Just share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe to Kpop Zone because we'll be back with more interesting content. See you in the next video.